At last, it is almost time for the very first Lucas show. Oh, yeah, you heard me right. It's almost here. Absolutely, Kate. I mean, it's so exciting. I can't wait to go in the studios and show you what we've got lined up. It's mammoth for the whole of the Lucas team. It is incredible. So we know what to expect. You don't, but you'll find out any second now. Should we go? Absolutely. Let's go. See you there. All inspired by the Lucas team, <laughs> they're amazing. Looks fantastic, and now up the final stairs to the studio. So Absolutely. We've got lights, cameras, and action, Kate. On, oh, let's get into our new home at last. Absolutely, Kate, it's <laughs> looking great. Hello, and welcome to the very first Lucas show with me, Kate McIntyre. And me, Danny Lucas. Now you can see we're already excited. Do you need to pinch yourself that actually your dream has now become a reality? To be honest with you, Kate, I can't believe we're here. It's finished. It's looking amazing. Absolutely outstanding. So tell me, I mean, Danny, the more I hang around Danny, the more I know his mind never stops. So at what point did you think, do you know what? We need a show here to put out to our business and really keep them informed about what's going on. Well, it's strange, but it's actually been around a long time. I actually dreamed of this when I was a kid, and now it's taken reality. So it wasn't an overnight thing. It actually mm -hmm. had a plan behind it. OK, well, we always like a plan, which now we can see the finished product of. So how long has it taken to get to this point? Well, in true Lucas delivery style, we had a deadline on this project, and it was finished ahead of programme, uh -huh. so I'm very pleased with that. Um, we did it in eight weeks. Um, the Lucas team that delivered it did an amazing job yeah. and brought some real high-quality finishes to this set. Absolutely. We'll just have a little look at the set. I mean, it's fabulous at the back. Remind me what the boards are, you told me. So we've got Scorch Scaffold boards done by our own in-house joinery workshop manager, Neil Stason. He's done a fantastic yeah. job. He's brought some real authenticity to the set. Um, but there's also some innovation as well that we'll see as we... Of course. And two hot seats that we're going to have guests in as well. Absolutely. So how often are we going to be on air, do you think? So every fortnight, look out for The Lucas Show. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a spin-off podcast and news show as well. So there's a lot of content coming and it's really exciting And stuff. what kind of messages are you hoping to get across? So we've got innovation, technology, digital. We've got women in construction. We've got diversity, mental health. You name it, it's everything to do with the world of Lucas and what I consider to be tomorrow's construction industry. Yeah, and you can see it all here first, exclusive to The Lucas Show. Absolutely. Now, I know obviously we're very excited. I know the team have worked through the night on this project as well for, for some time to get it to this stage, and we didn't want to wait for people to see the show. We wanted to give them a little sneak preview. At the Lucas quarterly gathering, got some amazing feedback from the guys. And the lovely thing was quite a few people at the event had actually been involved in building the set, so for them to see it was fantastic. Oh really, I mean it brought it to life for the guys involved, definitely. So they helped build the set. Let's talk about the set design, which leads us seamlessly onto our first guest, Danny, that I'll let you introduce. Absolutely, I'm really proud to say we've got Marianne Schillingford with us the creative director of Dulux. Hey, Marianne. Hi, hi. How are you? Um, I'm so thrilled to be here. This is an incredible, it's absolutely, it, it's a, the, just exactly how I imagined it. Brilliant. Yeah. Do you like what we've done with the place then? Absolutely love what you've done with the place. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing working with somebody who's got such a great vision. Well, it needed to be christened by you without a shadow of a doubt <laughs> because it's got your stamp all over it and yeah. we were really excited with what you came up with. So I think it's here to be seen now. So. It's a celebratory day for the it Lucas is. team, well, the launch show. Thank you for being in the hot seat, the first lady in the Great hot pleasure. seat. So how did you guys get to work together in the first place? Because you probably go back a few years, do you? Well, Lucas have got a, an amazing connection with Dulux and it goes back 30 years plus, I would say. Um, and I was honoured enough to be invited last year to Wimbledon. And there I saw on the tables in the suite these amazing little miniature Dulux scenes, like the Dulux shop. There was a garden shed with a tin of cupronol, and it was mm -hmm. almost unbelievable, the detail. And I found out that this amazing lady, Marianne Schillingford, <laughs> had created those by hand, and I just had to meet her. From there, we ended up talking about the vision that I had with this, mm -hmm. and the rest is history. Yeah, and here we are today. 
It's a little world. I think that, you know, when I was creating those things, I like to create, I think in decorating, you're creating a little story yeah. of somebody's life or what they want to, to achieve in their home or in their business. And you came to me and you wanted a story. So that's my, that's my uh, area yeah. of expertise. Absolutely. So talking, Marianne, about your role then, your creative director of Dulux, you've sort of touched upon there what you do. So just expand on that a little bit. What, what's your day to day like? Uh, day, uh, day to day at the moment. So we're looking at color futures, color trend forecasting for 2020. Uh, so I get involved in that and putting together the colour schemes that are going to be huge all over the world um, and that's a fantastic job. So everything from colour trends forecasting to working with customers to create palettes that are perfect for their business. Um, uh, being an ambassador for the role, I get to meet scientists to talk about what we're doing with the science of colour, I get to meet designers and artists. Um, uh, it's, it's an extraordinary job but it's all, um, my role is to help people have the confidence to use colour to unlock the full potential of their buildings and the spaces that they live in. Yeah. So yeah, very different kind of thing every day, something different every day. And talking about those forecasts I mean it's obviously 2019 now so you did quite ahead of time then for the next big colour yeah we're looking at 18 months ahead uh -huh. um, we are forecasting for um, the, in 26 countries 80 markets with a laser beam focus on uh, colour in paint which is quite unusual. So we gather together stories of what's happening in the world, everything from design and technology, um, and we gather together some experts, uh, experts to represent all of these um, elements of colour in the world. And we lock them in a room in Amsterdam, in our aesthetic centre, for three days, and we ask them about the, 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 the big stories in the world that will connect us together as human beings. And then when they go away, we distill that narrative into stories of colour. And that can be uh, colours that are inspired by new materials, colours that are inspired by how we're spending our money in the future. And we start to put together a story, a trend story of colour. And it's quite um, small amounts of, of, of colour, but they tell big stories that connect the whole world together. So our customers can be really confident that the colours that we're suggesting are going to be the colours of the future. Mm, that's tricky though. It it's is tricky. tricky. I have to ask, have you ever got it wrong? Oh, ooh, we've been doing this for 26 years, uh -huh. so 26 years of colour forecasting, the last 15 years of colour futures, which is our global trends forecasting. Every now and again, there's a little anomaly. So suddenly there'll be all of this wonderful thing about, you know, gold and black, which happened in the, uh, you know, uh, in the 90s. Um, and, and that kind of like came and went. But then you start, because you've been doing it for so long, you start to see really strong connecting threads and we haven't got it wrong. Um, we, we just don't get it wrong anymore. Excellent. Well, of course not. Well, this is why we work with Dulux, because it's all about excellent quality service. And to be honest with you, um, I think that the other thing that's really excited me about Marianne's mm -hmm. story is how, on a similar basis, you can start anywhere in this industry and where it takes you is quite phenomenal. Yeah. So we have a connection where we both started on the tools. We both did our City and Guilds apprenticeship did you? back in the 80s. And look at the career path. I mean, Marianne's creative director of Dulux. I mean... It's such a place to be, and I think this is why this whole world of colour, mm. innovation and transformation is so exciting. And it's really interesting because you, you never know where that direction is going to take you. I mean, you probably, when you were starting off on the brushes many years ago, had no idea where you'd end up. I think, I think that's the fun thing about my... People don't think you can paint... You think you're sort of sitting here in this, this stately position of creative director, but I can paint most guys into a corner, I have to say. So if you want to paint off, <laughs> I'm your woman. A great um, British paint off, of yeah, course. Great, yeah, great British paint off. That would be fantastic, <laughs> wouldn't it? But, uh, and I will say, every single day of my working life, I pick up a paintbrush and I'm using a paintbrush and using colour. So I'm mixing colour, using colour and, and mm. using paint. And that makes me happier than you can possibly imagine. And you obviously, I mean, Dan is very passionate about his work. You're clearly very passionate about yours. I have the best job in the world, apart from him. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's difficult sometimes, isn't it, though, when you're looking ahead. I mean, I know looking at, at fashion and what, what's going to be trendy next year, what's not, you know, where, where do you look for the ideas? Where do you pick your little bits of inspiration from? I mean, I guess you take it from everywhere. We take it from, we're looking at what's happening in architecture and design. So mm -hmm. we're designing for the built environment. So we're looking at paint for walls in the built environment. So what are the big things that are affecting the way we live and the materials that we're using uh, in the environment? And, and they're the things that we, so we won't necessarily look at fashion because fashion is just a, a autumn, winter. We're, we're looking at, uh, we, we need um, the decorating cycle between three and five years. So we're looking that far ahead. Because if we suddenly come up with a range of colors that's just a flash in the pan, mm -hmm. nobody 
would use them or trust you. It's, it's not a flash in the pan. It's something that has to have longevity and it has to have a really robust process of trend forecasting. So, Danny, have you always had your finger on the pulse of the changing trends of colour? Well, I'm quite excited that we're more involved today mm -hmm. and it's a new way of working because, I mean, I certainly remember back in the 80s that you had the magnolias. That was the builder's finish, as they called it. In the 90s, we had REL 9010 and here we are now in the, in the 2000s or, or the 2010s. And it's like a completely different world. I mean, the, the way to work together as a sort of partnership mm -hmm. is something that I think is completely different. It's the future. And of course, with Marianne's explanation of where colour's going, I think it gives us a lot more tools in our kit, if you yeah. like, to offer people a lot more than just being a painter. Yeah, absolutely. And talking about, you know, myself and friends when they want to do a bit of decorating. Everyone's getting a bit bolder now, aren't they? They're sort of experimenting more with colour and they're looking for inspiration, but maybe they don't quite always have the know-how. So for anyone out there who's looking for a bit of inspiration but doesn't have Marianne on speed dial, then I have the perfect gadget for you. Danny told me about it earlier in the week, so I went out and put it through its paces. Take a look at this. We take inspiration from all around us, but sometimes it's good to get a helping hand to put a name on that perfect paint colour. This is um, a product that we developed in partnership with Dulux. We've called it Colour and Concierge, um, and it's a complete end-to-end -end system uh, that will allow you to take paint colours or any colour from around you. Um, it also enables you to order all of that paint that you've scanned uh, with your local Dulux Decorator Centre. It's an interior design tool to top it off as well. We've, it's got the functionality to allow you to um, sort of uh, explore complementary colours, split complementary, triadic, etc. Um, to kind of be a complete interior designer in your pocket, if you like. What's the technical stuff going on in there? So the hardware that, that lies behind it is um, it's solid state hardware that's squeezed into this sensor. Um, and the sensor itself is actually smaller than a ping pong ball and it weighs about 17 grams. So it's small enough to wear on a lanyard, which is as we supply it or use on a key mm -hmm. ring. Inside of this, you've got two light emitting diodes, uh, which once it's up against the surface, it stops any bleed of natural light. Um, the white light emitting diodes will effectively light the surface in a uniformed way at a predefined angle. Uh, and then a, a little sensor, which you can just see in there, uh, mm -hmm. will then take a snapshot of that colour, work out the sort of dominant colour that's in that image, and then match that up with Dulux's existing database to find the best match uh, in the database for you. I know I've paired this up already, so we can literally point that on any colour anywhere. Yeah. Absolutely. So craftily I've worn my paint splattered top, so I'm thinking, could we try and get a name on this lovely blue colour? We certainly can. Wow, that's literally straight up. That was Very like, what, quick. five seconds? Exactly. And now what that's done is it's showing us our scanned surface. Yeah. Uh, and it will break our matches down into excellent matches and good mm -hmm. matches. So excellent are where the system's identified a very, very close match. Yeah. Um, not in, in all cases will Dulux have an existing colour in their database, which will be an exact match. So it will then give us good matches okay. as well. But they do today. So this is striking cyan. I exactly. thought it was. <laughs> Perfect. So you can get as creative as you want on the app, pick some complementary colours, hit order. Exactly. Sorted. Exactly. So now all we've got to do is find someone to come around and paint it. What a neat little gadget. So find out how quickly we can turn my paint colour into an actual pot of paint a little bit later. I have to say, from doing that little film, Colour and Concierge is my favourite new gadget at the moment. I mean, Danny, I know you've worked very hard on this. Kate, it's probably one of the most exciting things I've seen in my 35 plus years in this industry. Mm -hmm. um, it's a collaboration that we worked on with Dulux last year. I've got one here. Um, this amazing gadget in your pocket um, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it would have been in a case, 20,000 quid. This technology is now on something the size of a ping pong ball and multiple scans, thousands of scans from one charge, so accurate. But this is now putting an interior designer in your pocket. Mm -hmm. It allows you to absolutely look at everything, complementary colours, as well as choose your colours. And we well, are... Marianne can't wait to get hands on it. I am so excited. I, I, I'm personally so excited to <laughs> the, hand this to Marianne. I, I mean, I feel like you've just handed over a medal. I think it, you should put it around your neck is, straight I mean, away. This, this is a creative object of desire. As you say, you know, spectrometers have been around for a long time, but nothing quite so accurate. No. And this unlocks the potential for people who are not so confident with colour of a, a world of colours that have been 
expertly put together by, by um, in, in an extraordinary amount of expertise that goes into this that just gives you the confidence to, to, to go beyond magnolia, which is what people are, are so frightened of doing. So by scanning a colour, so it could be a, a, a simple material, a piece of wood or a piece of marble, and then a colour scheme will come up that will perfectly complement that, and you know it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Um, so yes, it is an object of desire. Well, we've, we've actually launched this in London last year. It's a beta, it's a London launch. Mm -hmm. We've now got over a thousand active users in all of the large contractors, developers and architects working with this. It has become an object of desire. It's almost like an F1 badge yeah. in the industry to be wearing. <laughs> well, like you say, um, it gives people that confidence, doesn't yeah. it? To be brave and to venture out and be bold with colour. And to me, it demonstrates just how important technology and innovation is in your world. Well, it's about creating an, an Amazon one-click buy approach. We've got mm -hmm. Uber technology. It's all disruptive technology. Construction needs that. There's old ways of doing things. This is the new way. And it forms partnerships and collaborations that create strategic relationships and that's what it's about it's about creating a, a working environment where we can work together to create the future so you've never actually used this yet i've used one of these at work uh -huh. there's, there's somebody at work that walks around with one of these and it's chained to their neck and every now and again i try to try and swipe it off her when, when she's walking past but it, it's so accurate um, and it, it's so portable, and that's the kind of like it's a, it's a it's a lovely combination of creativity and innovation, and something that works beautifully is a thing of beauty. Perfect. Well, while we try and wrestle that from Marianne, I think I might, I might just <laughs> time to make some paint. Earlier, we discovered striking scion with the help of Colour Concierge. We placed our order on the app, and it has gone straight to this machine here behind me, where Paul is on standby to okay. mix it for me. Hi, Paul. Yep, you all right? Yeah, fine. Are we ready to go? Yeah, so I you can do that. Plumbed it in, striking yep. cyan. So we literally put it into the machine. That tells you what colours yep. and what proportion you need. So we have a lovely white tin of paint now, <laughs> soon to be splattered into. So it's just a question of setting each one to the correct quantities and pressing the switch. Oh, there we are, first colour in. And these are all very precise measurements, yeah. aren't they, Paul? Yeah. Next one. Of course, you've got to be thinking what colours you need to mix, because yeah. at the minute, that's not looking anything like this. It will look right eventually. So what's going to... You're going to give it a big shake? Yeah, it's going to go in the shaker. In the shaker. And that was me thinking we'd have to do that. Yeah. No? So the shaker's that way. OK, let's go and see just how striking this cyan can be. Let's mix it up, Paul. <laughs> it's like a high-speed spin in a washing machine. <laughs> Take it out. Shake and not stir, just how I like my martinis. Right, let's crack it open, Paul. So, what are the chances? Let's hope. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Just hold that up. Hold that, twist it that way. Look at that. That is bang on. So, as you saw, the absolute perfect colour match there. I'm so impressed with the technology and innovation behind this product. Well, Kate, while we're talking about innovation, we have got Ted Schumann, Head of Innovation from Dulux, with us. Hello. Hey, okay. welcome Ted. Thank, Thank you, you for filling much. our second chair today. Very comfortable chair. It is indeed. Lovely studio. Do you like it? Like it a lot. Are you sensing Marianne's input <laughs> from it now sitting in it, here? Yeah, as I walked in, I thought that's definitely got something about Marianne. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, obviously, you saw our little film there and the colour matching I did. Just to show you in more detail, we've actually painted a panel here. Look at the beautiful blue I matched. What do you Fantastic. think? Fantastic, yeah. It uh, looks like it's a skilled hand that's done that as well. Oh, very good finish. I mean, yep. We expect nothing less at Lucas, do we, Danny, with the Absolutely finishes? Absolutely, no. Every effort goes in, even on a sample board. And Marianne, I know you guessed the colour of this earlier. Striking cyan. And striking it is. It's a lovely punchy colour, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The cyan takes you to the blue. The striking gives you that feeling of so it's sort of sort of how do we respond to that mm. colour, and that just gives us the beautiful. Name. How do you name the colours then? We, we, we do this thing called alchemy, and alchemy is finding two words that take you visually to what the colour is, but also emotionally to how the colour makes you feel. So striking is a really powerful, mm -hmm. powerful word, and cyan is the colour, so cyan is blue. There you are. And while we're see. talking about colours, I've got yeah. another board here, Kate, which I will bring out, on, because I, I know that cheery, Marianne will tell us a bit more about <laughs> grey. Um, 
but obviously, as you can see, completely different ends of the spectrum, really, from my point of view. Me too. I'd, now, following on from what you said, I'd call that maybe gloomy dove. It, yes, that's a lovely word. I mean, we, it, it's, yes, gloomy maybe not, but dove is a good, is a good, a good name. Um, grey is such an important colour, and especially at the moment. Grey is the ultimate neutral. And what I mean by neutral is, I mean, it's the colour that works with everything. So this grey will make striking cyan look like the star of the show. And so we all need grey, and grey is a fantastic backdrop colour. What tends to happen with colour is people get stuck in grey, and they don't know where to go. That's why... The, the, the colour tool is such a fantastic thing to unlock the potential of, of a space by giving us more colours that work with grey. Brilliant. Great idea. Well, I think they Great go perfectly idea. together. And, yeah, it really makes that kick a bit, doesn't it? Brilliant. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Excellent finishers, Lucas' team as well. Thank so, you. So, Ted, tell us a little bit about your role there at Dulux. So, I've got a really interesting role at, at Dulux. Um, so, my role is innovation. And what that means on a day-to-day -day basis is I'm working with our really talented scientists all over the world to see what are the new things that they're investigating that we think we could turn into a product and... and um, and launch out into the marketplace. So inventing new things, I think it's a simple explanation of it. That sounds like a great job, doesn't it? Now I know Danny's told me a little bit about something he's involved in called Let's Paint the Future. Paint Con. the Future, yeah. So it's a global competition that we've been running. Um, it's run by our global headquarters over in Amsterdam. And we set the challenge in January to any startup, any organisation, any scientist, any individual to come to us with a novel, interesting, exciting idea. And we said to them, we'll take a look at it and if we think it's got some legs in it and we're interested in it we'll give you all the help of our global company to make that as good as it can possibly get and we've had some fascinating fascinating pieces of technology coming through um, some of which are we um, we've taken through to the, the finals in Amsterdam which is um, on the 14th to 16th of May um, an example of one of those is uh, it's an American company um, and they fundamentally said, why do you need to put pigment in paint to make it coloured? You don't. So if you look at anything in the natural world, it's not painted. It's it creates colour through the structure of the material. So if you look at a bird's okay. feathers, it's the structure of the feathers on a microscopic level that bounces light off at different angles, and that's what you see as colour. So we're looking at actually, can you fundamentally change the way that you produce paint, which I think is really interesting. Wow, that's groundbreaking. Absolutely yep. groundbreaking. And then we're also looking at the complete other end of things, which is actually, how do you apply paint? How do you get it onto the walls, or whatever you want to, want to paint? Um, it's been very little innovation in painting and at the application of it, really. Mm. It's still brushes and rollers and some sprays. Um, but we're looking at things like drone technology. How can you actually automate painting? So on you know, huge skyscrapers. How do you paint that without putting a person at you know, quite potential danger? Um, we've also got the artificial intelligence and machine learning um, are, are entries into this. So you can fly a drone around something potentially dangerous, like a let's say nuclear power station. It will learn exactly what needs to be painted and then can go and fly off independently, fully automated, and go and apply paint to these wow. things. So we're really looking at Definitely it from, future. from yeah. what paint is and how you get it on the walls. So, really fascinating um, you see that's really exciting entries. isn't it normally people you know they say don't they oh it's like watching paint dry or paint's not very exciting but paint's really exciting and it's really groundbreaking from what you've said to, to be honest yeah. with you kate i think this show is all about showing that construction isn't about mud and boots no. and paint is definitely not about brush and roller it's the future, it's, it's innovation, not. it's technology. I think what Axel Nobel are doing is groundbreaking by inviting people around the world to come up with and, and, and sort of engage with people yeah. to create what the future looks like. And that's where we're taking this. I yeah. think it's a, a fantastic forum. And that's going to encourage more and more people to enter the industry, isn't it? And, Without and to a doubt. see that there are so many paths that their career could take. Well, it's all about the skill shortage. Mm. That's global. I heard that from your own um, organisation in the headquarters that there's a global paint uh, skills shortage. Mm. So there's a lot of things being done now with technology and machinery. Yeah. And I think that, you know, when you hear of the stories here with uh, Marianne, with uh, starting on the tools the same as me, yeah. everyone's got a story, but where we can go with this is endless and it's, yeah. it's there for all of us to do. So back to the competition, I know Danny's one of the judges, is that right? Yep, Danny's one of the judges. I think uh -huh. it's a panel of 12 and that includes the Chief Technology Officer for Axon Nobel. There are some professors from different universities, yeah. um, uh, as well as you know, your, your standard kind of people from KPMG who can go and look at the business case for different things. Sure. So it's the right people to make the right decisions about who wins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very exciting. Blown away and honoured, obviously, uh, Kate, to be asked to do that. Now. Like a kid in a sweet <laughs> shop.
<laughs> like a kid in a sweet shop, if I'm honest. So just to expand the sweets we're giving you today, one more question then, Ted. I mean, can you give us sort of beyond the competition now, sort of looking to the future generally over the next sort of three, four, five years? What what little tidbits have you got that some breakthrough things that no yeah. one knows about? Well, some exclusives. Without, without giving away all the secrets, just a few. Um, I'd lose my job. But just a few. Um, what we're doing is because Axe Nobel, we make paints for... You know, buildings, but we also make paints that go on super tankers, aircraft. Mm -hmm. Most large car manufacturers will use our products as well. So we've got technology that we can take from those different places and say, okay, would that work in decorative paints? What would it do in someone's home? So we're seeing that particularly a lot of the stuff that we've got in automotive, so those protective coatings that you'll get on your new car that you pay an awful lot of money for, we're, we're seeing that actually those would have a lot of application to the home. Um, to offices, to buildings, to mm -hmm. keep them clean, keep them looking good. So that's really where we're seeing a lot of the, a lot of the future innovation coming from. I think it's that applied technologies approach. And yeah. we both have a connection with McLaren, of course, as innovation yeah, partners course. there. And I think how they've taken their technology from Formula One and applied it into medical, into aviation, into transport. Dulux are doing the same, Axe Nobel are doing the same. And, and it's very much the Lucas model. So we create this fusion of tomorrow's world Mm -hmm. by thinking outside of the ordinary yeah. and coming up with these amazing innovations. That's why we're so excited to be working with the Axo Nobel team and Dulux mm. in the UK. Oh, it's a great partnership, isn't it? Great partnership. So talking about good partnerships, so these guys are sitting next to each other in the studio <laughs> here. <laughs> I believe their desks are next to each other at work. I don't know how much work goes on there. So how, how do, do your creative and innovative roles combine in the office? It's normally me asking Marianne stupid questions <laughs> and then Marianne saying, well, do you actually mean that or are you thinking about this? Um, or it's me um, normally getting some of the rubbish from my desk and it's spreading over into Marianne's area and it knocks it away. It's, it's like the left <laughs> hand and the right hand uh -huh. side of the brain working together perfectly. We are, I think we're the best desk buddies actually because it is, <laughs> we, we, we just chat to each other and, and bringing, bringing creativity, a creative slant to innovation. That, that's, that's quite something, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. I think the way we approach innovation is, is um, we don't treat creativity and science as separate things. Yeah. Um, and I think we both think like that. So I think it's just having that um, openness to think, let's get as many different perspectives as possible on this potential mm. problem. And that, that works brilliantly, as Marianne's got a very different perspective. I have biscuits in my drawer too. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> 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 we won't ask what else is in your drawers. <laughs> Some of those Nick's colour scanners. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? No, Marianne's already got one in a bag. She's already got one. Well, thank you guys for coming along and helping us christen the uh, Lucas Show studio. It's I think been it's good. been a great first launch show, Kate. I couldn't Absolutely. have asked for more. I mean, fantastic guests. Yeah. The christening of the studios that Marianne put down on paper originally and seen it brought to life. Well, time has whizzed by. Thank you very much to Ted and Marianne. You've been brilliant guests, haven't they, Christening? Absolutely. Our show. We're so delighted to have had you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll be back in two weeks' time. But before then, Danny, come on, what have they got to do? Lucas UK Group, go on our social media, follow us, share, tell everybody about it, and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified of the next show. Brilliant. So it's your show. Don't be shy. Get in touch. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.